our goal was to document a plume and see uh, what its size, shape, distribution, and eventually its chemical composition. Um, it, this is an important aspect because there's very little known about oil in the subsurface. If you asked me, and I've been studying oil spills for 15 years, whether or not you would see oil in a subsurface, I would say no, it doesn't oil float. Um, so this is an important aspect in the basic science world. This plume was created by the Macondo well site or the Deepwater Horizon well. Um, not, uh, uh, it was not created by uh, naturally occurring uh, seeps. One of the other aspects of this study was this, the, to, to investigate dissolved oxygen, just like you and I uh, need oxygen to uh, breathe and make a living, uh, so do uh, any self-respecting microbe. Moreover, any self-respecting microbe will, will want to eat oil. It is like butter, or that's why we put, it gives us fuel. Um, but microbes are a lot like teenagers. They work on their own time, their own scale, um, they do what they want when they want, and so it's uh, difficult often to make uh, predictions about microbial degradation, and in fact, uh, it may vary substantially in the, in the Gulf at any one time. Uh, we're uh, with this work, we were able to describe the spatial extent uh, of the plume, uh, and uh, one of the interesting characteristics of this plume is that it was stable at approximately 1,100 meters water depth. And uh, that's something that's a little bit unexpected, and uh, we don't have any uh, clear indication as to why it's set up at that depth. You know, that that uh, um, is something that should be invest investigated further.